I've been training for a while and I have tried different training programs and I just knew that I needed to be on a training pro program that was completely personal to me just to make sure that I was uh, doing everything exactly in my power to improve. Um, my race is less than two minutes long so having just a few like half a second is essential. So when I s heard about the genetic performance testing, um, it, it kind of, I was really intrigued by it because if there's anything that I can identify um, throughout my own natural strengths and weaknesses, I'm going to be able to know, to know about them and use them and uh, create a race plan that is more suitable for my, like my strengths and weaknesses. My body's going to be able to um, hold up throughout the 500 meters um, if I can go in knowing where I'm strongest and weakest. I thought this might be a really awesome way to uh, to learn a bit more about myself and apply that to my training program and essentially my races. I have a few issues uh, with kind of my starts and I know that um, getting stronger and being more explosive and powerful is something that could really benefit my race but um, I kind of wanted to see how just um, like ha where my body was and my, with my genes, um, where my potentials were. And so if um, it came back and it said that like I wasn't going to be um, the best at starting, then maybe I wouldn't focus, put so much focus and training on my starts and I'd really focus on the finish of my race because I, I think I'm more of an endurance paddler. It's time to find out about, you know, 10 specific genes that directly relate to your specific athletic performance. We do one for VO2 max, one for uh, lactate levels, you know, how, how your body removes lactic acid from your body, uh, your body fat, your isometric strength, how long and hard you can contract your muscles. The first gene we test for is the muscle fiber gene. They used to do it by extracting muscle fibers from humans. Now we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> we take easier. a mouth swab. VO2 max, basically, you know, the oxygen level within your blood. You know, we talked about lactic, uh, lac lactic levels. Uh, lactate levels, and I, I would venture to say that you struggled with that a little bit in the past. I thought I was a beast in lactate training. Well, let's, <laughs> let's not talk about lactate training versus uh, VO2 max and aerobic fitness. Muscle mass, we talked about that, your ability to put on mass and strength. Um, uh, exercise blood pressure, I mean that's huge, how quickly you're, you know, you can regulate your blood pressure the endurance performance gene, which is extremely rare. We've never tested a single athlete that's been positive there. Oh, good. Yeah, so. That's okay, I don't really like marathons. <laughs> <laughs> those are those super athletes that do, that can do freakish things. When we talk about uh, your, your, um, your aerobic fitness, yeah. um, you're off the charts. I think w the one thing that, that is very indicative of, of this mm. is you were built, the longer the race, the better you'll do.